Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Carl Frotch trolls Andre Ward and says Dimitri Bivol is part of the reason why Andre Ward opted to retire. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. I told y'all January 2017. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. And we're going to continue that in 2018. Now, Carl Frotch, he did an interview with Sky Sports. He said some things that I personally think are absurd. We're going to get to it, and I'm going to give my thoughts. Let me start with his quotes. Carl Frotch says, I think Dimitri Bivo is going to be great. He has a cool and calm demeanor, and he oozes confidence, but not arrogant or nonchalant. He's just relaxed. He is so precise, so accurate with his work. He's lethal. Put him in with Sergey Kovalev down the line, and you will see how good he is. Right? I have a feeling Bevo helped Andre Ward make his retirement decision, and I don't say it very often, but I've seen something in Bevo that I wouldn't want to stand in front of. Now, to suggest that Andre Ward has opted to retire after beating Sergey Kovalev two times in an effort to duck Dimitri Bevo sounds absurd. Listen. I don't know what it is about old media, some of the personalities in boxing, but we have to stop this. Dimitri Bivo, so far, he passed the eye test. He has a record of 12 and 0, 10 knockouts. He just fought for a title, right? He looked good in the fight. He even got a first round knockout. But who did he really knock out? And the thing with new media, man, I'm just putting it in perspective. If you disagree, intelligently explain what you disagree with. But we're, it's like post Floyd Mayweather era. Everybody is being anointed as next in their division, in the world of boxing, right? And they really haven't even proven it. They haven't showed longevity. Again, this is not, I'm not knocking Dimitri Bivo because from everything I've seen with him, when he's doing in interviews, he said, I want to fight Kovalev. I respect him. Sullivan Barrera would be my best test. He, to my knowledge, hasn't said nothing bad about Andre Ward. This is directed to the media and Carl Frotch and personalities in boxing. It's like, how are we appointing these guys, even if they turn out to be the best fighter in the world? Great. But let them do that first, right? For example, in my opinion, Dimitri Bivo defending his title against Sullivan Barrera that's a very stern test in March at Madison Square Garden. It's actually better than the main event, which is Sergey Kovalev defending his WBO title against Igor Mikhalkin, right? I think the co-main event is better than the main event. Kudos to Dimitri Bivo for stepping up against a guy like Sullivan Barrera, vice versa. Congrats to, to Barrera. But Bivo hasn't even beaten Su Sullivan Barrera, a guy Andre Ward beat when he was undefeated right and Carl Frotch is already anointing him and like even having the the notion that Andre Ward chose to retire based on this guy with 12 fights it just it, it's like it's crazy Andre Ward starting to get that Floyd Mayweather aura about him where the guys you said he couldn't beat he beat oh Gotti at the time he wasn't going to beat him Gotti was too big and it was in Gotti's backyard uh, Diego Corrales, Gennaro Hernandez, Manny Pacquiao, doo, 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 doo. Um, Canelo Alvarez, right? Maidana, Maidana in the rematch, Ricky Hatton. There were people in all of those fights, Zab Judah, picking Floyd Mayweather's opposition, Koto, Shane Mosley. There were people, Oscar De La Hoya, in all those fights. And one by one, Floyd systematically beat them. And we're still acting as if we we don't know everything they just go down the list whoever i literally remember when it comes to floyd mayweather i literally remember at one time lucas matisse was doing real good they said floyd doesn't want to fight lucas matisse before that it might have been sergio martinez and after that it might have been ruzan provotnikov it's like whoever's doing good at the moment they take and they pit 
against these elite level fighters and say, oh, and it, it seems like they happen to be black fighters more often than not. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Why didn't Ward fight Vodstick or Bevo? Why doesn't Bevo and Vodstick fight each other? You know what I'm saying? They're the ones coming up. They're the ones with more to prove. Andre Ward had all the belts except for Adonis Stevenson's belt. So it's mighty funny that Andre Ward, Super Six, Olympic gold medalist, everything he showed you as a pro, Chad Dawson victory, Edwin Rodriguez, Super Six, beating Carl Froch, the guy who's constantly hating on him, Mikhail Kessler, Saki Obika, Arthur Abraham, right? Sullivan Brer when he's undefeated, Kovalev when he's undefeated, it wasn't good enough the first time, came back and beat him again, this time by stoppage, much better game plan, and Paul Smith, you know what I mean, all these guys, right? But we still have questions. Yet, Bevo, who, who, again, this is not a knock on him, he might be the best light heavy, I don't know. And I tell you in 12 fights, it's impossible to know, especially when in those 12 fights, you haven't fought Adonis Stevenson, Archer Better Beev, Anthony Yard, um, Vodstick, Kovalev, Sullivan Barrera, Joe Smith Jr. You haven't fought nobody as good as any of those people I've named, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? So it's just funny, like certain fighters, Ward, Floyd, or whoever, right? They have to, Ward beat Kovalev twice. You didn't like it the first time, came back and beat him in a stronger fashion, right? Oh, he should fight Adonis Stevenson next. Why doesn't Bevo fight Adonis Stevenson next? Why doesn't Bevo fight Badu Jack next? You know what I'm saying? Or Vodstick or Kovalev. You know what I'm saying? So it's crazy. And Carl Froch, I respect him as a fighter. Um, I actually met him too in Vegas. Cool dude. But he has this this hard on for Andre Ward. It's pretty sick in him because every time he mentions him, it's like it's some it's negative. I mean, at, and like I said, look at what people say then and now. At one point, he said he rated Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez, like all the fanboys and stuff, and he rated him over Andre Ward. He said Ward's number two and Kovalev is number three or something. Chocolatito's number one. Now, VH1, where are they now? Chocolatito is struggling to rebuild his career. People like Jim Lampley are saying, man, he's done for. The way Sword Rung Versailles knocked him out. Ward went up in weight faced big punchers like Sullivan Pereira who's doing damn good for himself right now and you know what I mean maybe a, a fighter so if he beats Bivol that's a title shot so you know what I mean he's in the title picture right now right and Ward beat him Ward fought Alexander Brand then fought Kovalev twice back to back and we're still questioning this man's metal his 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 gall his guts his heart it, it's just sickening and we're doing this all for guys it's just like Lomachenko he's good but with 11 fights in tow it's it's impossible to really determine how good he is even though he has a solid resume for what he's accomplished so far but he hasn't beaten guys who have the same level of experience way more power than him way more amateur pedigree way more speed than him you know I mean equal footwork things like that you know what I'm saying and he has a loss so I don't know what it is with like the the Eastern European market there's a lot of good fighters Kovalev uh, Lomachenko from the Ukraine Vodstick Usyk you know what I mean Bevo but let these guys earn it like even Kovalev had to earn it Kovalev has he has mad fights he has like probably like 30 something fights I don't know off the top of my head and we got to see through consistent performances beat Ishmael Salak beat um, Cedric Agnew, Nathan Cleverly, Blake Caparello, Jean Pascal twice, Bernard Hopkins, right? Give War Andre Ward a hell of a tough fight. You know what I'm saying? And then we started saying, okay, Kovalev. But some of these new cats, it's like they're coming and people are just so quick. Like, oh, he looks great in six fights. Uh, Antoine Douglas probably looked great in his first six to 12 fights or something. You know what I'm saying? And now he's getting knocked out by not top middleweights you know what i mean not Bill Joe saunders beat the guy he just lost to by stoppage you know what i mean art uh what's his name um curtise he's in the feds right now he ain't even been back to boxing with some rico charges or whatever so it's like let these fighters careers evolve and whatever it's gonna be is gonna be but to allude that andre ward chose to to retire solely based on this dimitri bivo sounds foolish from carl frotch 
and it's it's like I said, it's like a sickening, like a stand level of trolling of Andre Ward. Nothing he says about Andre Ward happens to be good. And if Andre Ward is this shitty, you hate his style, and he's ducking Bevo, then why why didn't he duck you? You were on top of your game. Why didn't he duck Kessler, Saki Obika? Why didn't he duck the Super Six? Right? Why did he he not duck Sullivan Brer when he was undefeated? Why didn't he duck Kovalev when he was undefeated? and a big puncher and a boxer. As of right now, when Ward fought Kovalev, Kovalev was clearly way more decorated and had accomplished way more than Bevel had in his, his first 12 fights. Again, not a knock on Bevel, but where's Bevel's Bernard Hopkins, a definite Hall of Famer that Bevel has beaten, you know what I'm saying? And it's just so funny with certain fighters like Floyd Mayweather, uh, Andre Ward, it's like Terrence Crawford's another one, right oh i gotta see more from ward he's been showing you what he's made of but why doesn't bevo have to fight sullivan barrera then adonis then badu jack then vodstick you know what i mean anthony yard archer better be you want to see ward fight archer better be ward fight bevo right ward fight kovalev a third time like it's, it's just it's madness it's really madness and like i said i like carl frotch I'm not going to disrespect him and be petty, but what he's doing to me is just makes him look bad. He's had a Hall of Fame career. I think he'll definitely go down to history. He's a solid commentator, but whatever this this grudge you have with Andre Ward, you kind of got to bury the hatchet because it makes you look bad. Like I said, to suggest that Ward <laughs> Ward decided to duck Dimitri Bivo is crazy. And they were saying the same thing with Badu Jack. Like Badu Jack is just definitely afraid he's already been knocked out before rebuilt his career beat anthony Durrell, um beat nathan cleverly cleverly when he was a champion first fight at that division beat george groves in my opinion beat james de gale you know what i mean what's the why would he duck dimitri bevel you know what i mean and especially when badu jack shout out to my dude jack is pushing for an adonis stevenson fight again adonis stevenson you could say adonis chicken sin and all this stupid shit but as of right now adonis stevenson has a better resume than dimitri bivol he's beaten from far then beaten from far again by stoppage he's beaten chad dawson by vicious first round knockout right so he has a better resume thomas top dog williams right adonis is a good fighter despite him not necessarily fighting some of the fights we wanted to see him fight. It's still better than Bevo. Name someone, listen, this will end the conversation right here. Name someone that Dimitri Bevo has currently faced and beaten that was better than Chad Dawson. Exactly. So, you know what I mean? People gotta pump the brakes with this. Again, this is not a, a Bevo diss, diss record or, or diss video, because he's not the one making these comments, but Frotch, doing this stand stuff he got to get that hate about his heart because it's not a good look you know what i mean like i said if andre ward listen just just simple mathematics andre ward moved up out of 168 when he clearly could have tried to fight badu jack who was there at the time and had emerged um james DeGale, gilberto ramirez and he'd be the favorite to beat any of those guys but he did a multi-fight deal where hbo decided to move up to light heavyweight his first fight at the full light heavyweight he's fighting an undefeated 85 percent knockout puncher in sullivan brer and not only does he beat him he knocks him down right then he fights brand and then within his third fight he's fighting kovalev goes tooth and nail with kovalev comes back his very next fight immediate rematch with kovalev and beats him kovalev's the crusher he's the bully he's this power puncher that can box he's killed a man in the ring fact sergey kovalev actually killed somebody after the after his fight and he has an amateur pedigree right so if we're looking about it what, what frotch is saying sounds stupid why guys like carl frotch had a better resume than dimitri bivo so why did ward not duck carl frotch and fight his fight with Carl Frotch with a fractured hand. Why did he not duck Kovalev, who has three times the amount of fights of Bevo? He also has power and, and a great style, a great pro style. So why is everyone, you know what I'm saying? Why, if you're gonna duck somebody, why would you not duck Kovalev, who's more proven than Bevo at the moment, better resume, etc.? And again, I'm not saying Bevo, Bevo might be able to beat Kovalev, I don't know. But we gotta see that over time. Carl Frost, like I said, he got to get the hate about his heart because he sounds ridiculous. Putting Chocolatito over Ward, saying Ward's so boring, you have to be a ball licker, ass licker or some shit to like him. 
Like, it, you just, it's doing too much. Shout out to Bevo. Let me know what you guys think. Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe to the next video's ego, son. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.